Hi everyone, it's Melissa from Seafarer's Cookbook. Today I'm going to talk about getting your Merchant Mariner credential. In order to work for any of the unions or really any shipping companies that are private, you're going to need your Merchant Mariner credential. So the first step is, to that is obtaining your TWIC card. I also have a video on explaining what a TWIC card is, but just know that you have to go get one and the cost is $125. Um, the next step is to get your STCW courses. What these are, and I have to look, um, it's standard of training certification and watch standing. And I also have a separate video on that um, that I'll link below. And it explains what it is and what it all encompasses. But the cost for that um, is anywhere between nine and $1,200, uh, just so you know that. So those are the first two things. You wanna get those out of the way, um, make sure you can get your TWIC and make sure that you have your training courses. The third is the medical certificate. So in order to do that, you need Coast Guard Form 719K slash E. And basically, all of this information is online, um, but it's kind of just all over the place. They don't do a real good job at explaining it. And um, that's why I'm doing this video. So you need to get this form and take it to an occupational health place like Concentra. And when I called, the exam should be around 85, between 85 and $100. You need to take those forms with you and have them filled out. So not only do you need the Coast Guard 719K slash E, but you also need to get a drug test. So when you're there, um, you want to take the Coast Guard form 719P with you. And you get these forms um, on the Coast Guard website. Just put in Merchant Mariner Credential and Coast Guard into the search of engine and it'll bring up the uh, Coast Guard, the portion of the Coast Guard website that deals with Merchant Mariner credentials and it'll have links to all of these forms on there. And they also have a checklist and things like that. So the cost for the physical is between $85 and $100, and the drug test, the five-panel drug test, is between $70 and $100. So have that application with you, have the um, application for the drug test with you, and take them into consent or make your appointment or whatever, and get those filled out. Now, once you have all those completed, you want to fill out the actual application, which the main application is Coast Guard Form 1, Coast Guard Form 719B. That's the main application. It's not a real, you know, it's not really anything crazy that you have to go digging through your files from 100 years ago or anything like that. And you also need the Form 719C, which deals with, um, any like a disclosure about narcotics, DUIs, and other convictions. And one other thing that I'm a little murky on because I know I paid it. Um, it's a $95 user fee, but I don't think I needed to pay that. I really don't. Although I was at the Coast Guard office and they said I did, so I paid it. Um, so I would uh, ask that um, or not pay it until they say, hey, you have to pay it. Um, once you have all of that done, you gather all your information. They want this all by email is the best way. Now you can go to a center and they're called regional exam centers of the Coast Guard. Um, but if you don't live near one, it's, um, it's kind of hard to get there and it's just easier to, um, get everything and email it to them. So what you do, you want your application, the disclosure, the TWIC, a copy of your TWIC card. And if you haven't gotten your TWIC card yet, you can um, submit a receipt for your application. Like when you went to Identigo, they gave you a receipt when you paid the $125 or whatever. Um, you need your medical application, the one you got at Concentra. You need the drug test form, and you need copies of your STCW. And 
Once you have all of that, you go onto the Coast Guard website and find a regional exam center. It doesn't really matter what one you send it to. Like, um, you know, you're not going to go there, um, but it has to go to one of those centers before it can be sent to the national center. So just know that it doesn't really matter what one you send it to. And whether you know it or not, it takes a long, long time for them to process these um, Merchant Mariner credentials. And I've heard people say, oh, well, if you send it to this one, it goes faster. I don't really think so. It takes a long time. Um, I think that I waited, oh gosh, it was months um, before mine finally came back. The medical certificate comes back rather quickly, but the um, the book, the actual Merchant Mariner credential takes forever. Now you can go online and see the progress. Like it'll say, oh, it is in this person's hands and it's doing this now. And that's just to, so people don't lose their minds waiting for it, I think. Um, I called all the time to check on the progress, thinking maybe that would hurry it up, but nothing hurries it up. Um, so just be patient. I'm not sure why it takes so long, but it does. Um, if you found this video useful, please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell to get notifications. Thank you.